All right, so I don't have a whole lot of surface area, so I wanted a little bit finer threads, so I decided on 24 threads per inch. I don't know if that's going to be good or not, but I think it'll be okay. So I can see that I need a 36 and a 40. Um, this was already a 40, so I changed that to a 36. Uh, 120 and 127, so those are already correct. So that should be good to go. And this isn't really that important, because I'm not cutting a thread to some industry standard. I'm just making my own, both pieces. If one piece already existed, one thread already existed, it would be critical that I make the other one exactly the same as that one. That's not what I'm doing, though. I'm making them both. So really, I could pick any thread I want, and it doesn't even matter if I get those wheels correct. As long as I use the same wheels to cut both threads, then they'll fit together. So, but that should give me 24 threads per inch. Okay, I'm zeroing out the, uh, so I'm not going to use the half nut release because I can never, I can never do it right. So the half nut's engaged. I'm just going to wait until the carriage gets to zero on the dial and then I'll stop the motor. I'm just using the forward and reverse switch on the lathe. Now I'll use the cross slide. I'll come in ten thousandths. Let's go again. Watching the uh, the dial indicator on the carriage for zero. I'm scared. I'll do five thousandths on the compound. I'll come back a little bit on the cross slide. Probably doesn't matter too much. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. That's not good. The workpiece moved, so I'm going to need to readjust things and start over, sort of. Setting the compound for zero now.
And now I gotta try to get these threads lined up again. Okay, so I'm in the thread. Now let's lock the half nut. Trying to get the half nut engaged here. I'm coming back out on the cross slide using the cross slide so I've got the half nut engaged and I'm using the, uh, the compound now and the cross slide to try to get that line back up if I come out on the cross slide and in on the compound, it moves the bit to the left. And now it looks like it's lined back up. It's kind of hard to do. Also, my camera's in the way. All right, let's. Let's try that. All right, cross slides at zero. I'm gonna back that off. Go in reverse. All right. Come back into zero. Come back in five thousandths on the compound and now I'm going to run it in until I hit zero and then I'll stop zero on the carriage. Eh, a little bit too far I guess, huh? I'll clean that up later. Alright, back to zero in five thousandths and I'm gonna stop short of my zero this time. This is exciting. Not in a good way. So I come out on the out on the cross slide, move it back to the right, back into zero on the cross slide, and I'm coming in five thousandths on the compound for each cut. And I'm stopping like uh, actually like ten thousandths shy of my zero. I'm gonna move my zero over. Okay, now I'll, I'll use the zero again now because I adjusted the dial. I'll stop at zero on the carriage.
right, workpiece looks straight. So that's good. I wish I had uh, an undercut there. Uh, I guess I could make one. Let me let me see about that. Well, then I lose my setting on my. Uh, just feel my threads here. And I lose my setting on my half nut. But I can. I know I can fix that, so let me let me try that. There's the half nut disengaged. Now I'll take a take a look at my threads. All right, so I'm looking at this thing, and what I'm concerned about, the only thing I'm really concerned about, is this shoulder that I bumped into with my thread cutter and then I went ahead and chamfered it over to get rid of the the cut that I had made when I bumped into it and you can see I ended up taking it down quite a bit and I bumped it more times so I'd like to take it down more but of course you know what I'm scared of is doing the same thing I did before cutting through it so I'm just over here making some measurements I determined that the depth of this surface below here is 960 thousandths. And I just measured with my micrometer this distance right here. So the distance to this shoulder, and that's one inch exactly. So this surface is 40 thousandths above that bottom surface inside there. So even if I were to go in further here, straight in this direction, I'd be higher above that inside surface. So that's good. So that means I can take some material off of here to, uh, to smooth that out. Now I was getting some chatter in these threads, but actually the threads look pretty good. They're pretty sharp. Those threads look pretty good, and you could hear the chatter. I think maybe you need to cut the bit a little differently for brass, I'm not sure. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe just leave those threads. They're nice and sharp. They look pretty good. I don't want to screw them up. Then when I cut the in internal threads on the cap, maybe I'll just leave it a little bit tight and use some lapping compound to smooth the threads out. And again, it's not a big deal. The threads don't have to be super awesome. I just need to screw the cap onto them. So at this point, what I think I'm going to do is clean up this shoulder some. I'll, get it, I'll run it at a higher speed, clean up the shoulder, and then just chamfer this edge a little bit, um, and then start hogging out that material there to make the chamber. So I did not screw it up yet.
for about 850 RPM. good enough. Set the cross slide to zero. That's what I'll come back to. This chamber should be about a quarter inch deep. So I can see that I still have a ways to go. stop this thing and take a closer look in my hole there because I don't want to cut through that hole that would ruin my day alright I got a lot of thickness left so I'll just keep plowing along here and I really like the thickness of my rim. To say that I'm relieved would be an understatement. I'm real happy with that. The material is probably, or this is probably maybe an eighth of an inch thick or so and I got plenty of thickness here, plenty of thickness there could go, could go thinner on both of them but I'm pleased with that